baby's here. Oh, it's right there in Brittany's tummy. So it is here. Alright guys, so what's up? I know it's been a while since we posted an actual video about something important, but emergency today. So I'm at work and Brittany had a doctor's appointment because she's has been having some problems where I guess you could say her gallbladder is located or whatever, but she only started having them recently after she became pregnant. Well, she called me a minute ago and the ambulance is going to take her down to St. Vincent's. They're rushing her to St. Vincent's because she's having so many problems and in so much pain. So we will keep you guys updated and let you know what's going to go on. Okay guys, so now I'm in the hospital with Brittany. Wait, you've been, you've been filming? And she's over there. She was in so much pain she was crying 30 minutes ago and now she's not crying anymore. She just had blood drawn. Haley has also joined us today. She rode with Haley and Brittany because I was at work. Hold on, can I see that real quick? See? I'm not trying to be a cry baby. Like he just made it out to me. But I was in pain. I don't just cry. She's pregnant. She cries all the time. Don't worry about you. Anyway. Crying over sweet tea. Oh, yeah. By the way, see, y'all missed that. The other night, <laughs> Brittany cried because we were out of sweet tea. So she cried and got my mother to make her sweet tea at like 1130 at night. Anyway, back to our conversation. <laughs> she had to come in and get Brittany's uh, insurance info because she's on Medicaid because she's expecting. That's not information you should tell you to. Okay, Kip, if you're expecting, <laughs> apply for Medicaid. It saves you a bunch of money in the long run if you get approved. We got approved. <laughs> so it saves us money. Are you ready? Yeah. You have a lot of pain? So How much pain is a lot of pain? Like I'm at like probably a six right now. You came in the emergency room for a six? No, I was at a ten. He said, what's your pain level? I said, well right now I'm at a three. But earlier when I was in ten, I was in tears, I was probably at a twelve. And I just cried for nothing. Right, because she had twelve all the time. Cry, I had twelve She had twelve all the time. <laughs> Bro, she pregnant. Why'd she say that? She pregnant. She gonna be fat. Cause you pregnant. Wait, I don't know. It's just a face. But we will keep you tuned in. The baby's here. No, it's not. It's right there in Brittany's tummy. So it is here. But they just came in and gave Brittany some Tylenol and they gave her some probiotics to kind of help and see if what's going on with her gallbladder and stomach area. So. We know they said the camera has to imbalance. I know how many cameras on us right now, but. I thought you had something red on your face. God, he's always been kind of me. I can't see my there. <laughs> Look, guys, this... they can't see me. You're terrible at this. Look at your view. Bro, this is why I do this thing right here.
You guys want to see something funny? <laughs> what do you think? Hey, I love you. I missed you so much. Mm-mm. I don't want you. <laughs> I wouldn't trust me. I over here. Nah. Yeah. All day, every day. Uh, so, I talked about your sh**. Here's the awesome stuff as well. And uh, we're kind of on the same page. So sometimes it takes a, dose, or a couple doses to, to really work that protonics, but um, we'll see. Okay, am I just supposed to be feeling like relief of pain? Um, if it's, it should start to help. Okay. Should take the edge off at least. It may not go completely away, like 100%. Because you're, you're not really having any relief of pain, are you? No, it's coming back. It is coming back? Okay. Yeah, it started coming back when we were like right here on the interstate. Because it, I mean, it was really bad. And then they got there. And then I guess maybe when we started. When we got on the interstate, it kind of went down, and then mm-hmm. when we got closer, it started slightly to back, and that was really starting to mm-hmm. Well, if it, I mean, if it's bad enough, we can still give, like, morphine and stuff like that. Have you had anything like that before? Um, okay. I didn't think you would, but uh, if it does get to that point, though, if you get to the point where yeah. you're driving you crazy, it is safe to maybe get really several doses of morphine. is okay. okay. Um, Alright, nice to meet y'all. We'll get you to the hospital, okay? And hopefully I can figure this out tomorrow with a few more tests. Okay, thank you. Alright guys, so I accidentally pressed the stop record button when I dropped my phone, so I thought it was recording this whole time, but it wasn't. But they just said that they're going to be admitting Brittany to the hospital, and she's going to stay tonight and get tests done in the morning. So, we'll see how this all plays out. Call your boss and tell her you're not coming in tomorrow. And all your school teachers. Alright, guys, so now that Brittany's admitted, we finally got up to a hotel room. They got her strapped in, and they got like little monitors and stuff on the baby. There's Brittany. They just came in and checked her cervix, and it's fine. The baby isn't coming right now. Fussing, though. He's fussing though. He don't like those monitors being on. He's like, so the monitor is like right here, and he keeps hitting it. He's so mad. He's gonna be a little stubborn, but. Oh, of course he is. He's, he's your he's kid. Like, oh, what do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah, so we're in a room. We're gonna stay on this floor, which is the OB, uh, OBED. E-D. It's like a OBGYN uh, like emergency department type thing. Yes. This is where you come if like you're going into labor. You come up here and you get seen a lot quicker instead of having to go through like the emergency room and stuff. Okay. They're gonna keep us up here for about 30 minutes and after 30 minutes, they're gonna transfer us to like the another floor or something like that and that's where we'll stay. They're gonna do tests and stuff in the morning and hopefully I'll be here when they do them. If not, I will be at work. Mm-hmm. He yawned before he started filming, guys. Anyway, all right, guys. So now they got us up here in the room. It's a nice room. It basically looks like looks like a suite almost. It is. It's a birth suite. It's a birth suite. I'm we're sorry. Not having, we're not giving birth. Though. Yeah, we're not giving birth. This is just where they put her because she has a baby in her tummy. So today, Brittany got admitted. Tomorrow, they'll do some tests and figure out what's wrong. Everybody thinks it's her gallbladder. But I have like a 10% other guess that maybe the baby pushed her appendix, which I don't know if the appendix can be moved because the baby can move a bunch of other stuff. But I think the baby may have pushed her appendix up. And that's why she's having the pain. But that's just my thought. You're crazy. We'll see how it goes. I think I'll run a test tomorrow. And we're going to see how this goes. But this is an update on Brittany. There's her cutie booty laying in the bed. Well, you can't see my butt, Katie. No, we can't see your butt. (laughs) Thank you.